We've had over 500 vehicle tests on this channel, and almost all of them have headlight tests. So if you want to see how the lights on your vehicle work, this is the right place to be. Toyota Sentis, a 2024 Corolla Cross SUV to drive. This is the hybrid. We did full road test on this already, posted on YouTube. But here we're doing night driving headlight test only. Looks like we got only one bulb in there. Should be interesting. So let's take this out in the dark and see what happens. It's dark enough to check out these lights, and I will see one bulb burning a low beam. Let's turn on the brights and see what happens. Hey, come back on. All right, now let's start over. I got the brights on, still only see one bulb burning, just a bit brighter. So there's actually two bulbs in the main bulb, huh? I don't know, I'm not an electrician. Let's go to the rear. Is this all we get? Turn the vehicle on, see if I'm missing something here. Got to be more taillights than this. All right, I turned the ignition on, and this is all we get for the taillights. Fooled me. An awful lot of glass here. Now let's continue on. Here's what we get with the emergency lights on. Got some blinking on the outside mirror. Not much to see here in the front. Turn off the headlights held, but still these are pretty dinky. And pretty dinky in the back too. These are obviously brake lights. Let's go inside and check out the cabin. This is a pretty simple vehicle, so not too many lights to entertain you. Info screen. Go down the shifter. Gauge cluster. The rear camera. Which looks better in person than on my little camera here. It's a little bit too bright, so it's kind of fuzzing out on your screen. A lot sharper in person than it looks, though. As I always say in my videos, I cannot stand auto dimming mirrors, although I get my pass and they have a disconnect switch, but apparently there's no way to disconnect the auto dimming mirrors on this vehicle unless you put a piece of tape over the sensor hole. Boo hoo! Oh well. All right, let's check out the headlights. We have a wall 33 yards away on high beam. Seems bright enough. Go low beam. Whoa. Low. Way the lowest I've ever seen on a car. Inspecting on the left. It's not even going up over the curb. What's going on here? It takes about 175 to 200 feet to stop a car on the freeway. And here we got 400 feet with the high beams on, so we're passing here. Although you see some black cutoff. Go low beam. I can't see squat. It reaches out about 60% of the way, but there's no elevation. Let's try another spot. These are the lowest beams I've ever had on a low setting. I don't think I'm going to like this on the highway. So let's take a dip here. I can't see anything that's on top. Could be an elephant up here for all I know. This is not good. I might emphasize, I got this car, it only had like about 30 miles on the clock, right off the truck. So I'm assuming this is set to factory specs. And here on a flat surface, I've got around, oh, looks around 35 yards. I can't see anything beyond that, unless I put the high beams on. Let's go down some dark streets see what we can find. Now here I have a very very shallow dip and I'm going to see around 55 to 60 feet. <laughs> this is not good. High beam, low beam. Now a lot of people are going to say well I can take it to the dealer and hit the headlights raised. Uh, no, if these are within spec, and I'm assuming they are, the dealer is not going to raise them for you because then they'll be out of spec and the dealer cannot do out of spec alignments for liability reasons and other reasons we won't get into. You'd have to take it to an independent shop 
to have these headlights raised or adjusted. Preferably if they're open at night so they can see what they're doing. But this simply will not do. And again on YouTube, there's probably two dozen other people that tested these. They had these cars for a week. How come they're not saying anything? You know they got to be driving at night. Don't ask me. And one more example, high beams on, see down the road, low beam, can't see squat here. Are you glad you watched this video? I don't know. If you want to crawl across, you might send me some hate mail. I'm just a messenger here. Like I mentioned earlier, it takes around 175 feet to stop a car at freeway speeds. And right here, I've got around 65 feet with the low beams. I can't see anything beyond that point. It's called overdriving your headlights. If there's anything beyond this mark, I can't see what's on the road. Not very encouraging, unless of course I turn my brights on. But that can make a few people mad. So, I'm going to drive with the low beams on at freeway speed and hope I don't run into a deer or an antelope. Just the way it is at the moment. Eventually, these headlights definitely need to be adjusted. And I have no idea if these are factory spec or out of spec. Ooh, that was a nice bump. Too bad, because the Corolla is one of the finest cars in America. They run forever, reasonably priced, so this is rather disappointing. That includes a headlight test. If you want to see the full review of fuel economy numbers of the real world, here's a link coming up. Just click and watch. You're already here. Why not?